talking about. Today we're doing sea trials. Welcome back to the Jarrett Bay Insider. This is episode three of the three-part series on the Caterpillar repower of the Iron Leader. Now, if you've been following along, you've seen us remove the old engines, you've seen the installation of the brand new 2400 horsepower CAT engines, and you've even gotten the backstory on the name. As you can see, we're underway, and today we get to see these beautiful engines in action. Be sure you stick around for the very end to enjoy the run, but first, Let's hear what makes these engines so special. The C32B is a major evolution of the venerable C32, which has been in the industry for quite some time, especially around yachting. But through a number of modifications and improvements, such as the air system, strengthening of the block, modified pistons and so forth, we've now got 2400 horsepower out of the C32B. When we decided that we needed a good test platform to make sure that uh, the engine was performing at its highest potential, we chose a sport fishing vessel for a variety of reasons. Iron Leader, when she was launched in 2008, was a test bed. So we found it fitting when the C32B was ready for tests that we would have this particular 70 foot Jarrett Bay to test out our own 2400 horsepower engines. One, we knew that the vessel would be fast. We can accrue a lot of hours. We can cover a lot of ground and expose the boat and the engines, therefore to a variety of situations. You've got fluctuations in seawater temperature, air temperature. It's amazing what you can do if you've got a boat that goes fast. One of the big advantages we have at the Jarrett Bay Industrial Park is we have nearly two dozen marine industry leaders, one of which is Gregory Pool Marine, which is the cat dealer that handled this repower. Working on this project with Jarrett Bay, Caterpillar, Gregory Pool, the partnership that has been between all three organizations has really been great. When we inherited the boat with the previous competitors' engines, we did a quite exhaustive sea trial and, and testing and a lot of data collection. We took noise levels, smoke levels, performance for acceleration, overall top end speed, and had a baseline set for the existing boat, and then did a similar process with the C32B, and with that, we have some good comparison data. Welcome to the engine room of the Iron Leader, this is where the whole process begins. The process itself is fairly technical, but simplified, it's really just making sure that all the systems are playing well together. The sea trial process is more than just testing the engines, although that's a big part of it, but all of the systems have to be tested together to make sure everything's integrated and playing nice together. And as you've seen in previous videos, modern boats have a lot of systems. One of the things we check routinely on sport fishing boats is the maneuverability. When you're backing down on a big fish, that fish in a tournament might be worth a couple of million dollars. It's important that the boat can handle the task. Included in the repower is a complete overhaul of the helm. You can see all new electronics and a lot of upgrades here. What we noticed once the boat was repowered with the C32Bs was three things really. One, a significant increase in the top end speed. Two, drastic reduction in the smoke levels, so namely around acceleration. And three, she became a much quieter boat, dropping down from a V16 to a shorter V12, is that now we've unlocked not only a lot of weight savings, but also a considerable amount of space savings. So that allowed us to install two gyroscopic stabilizers ahead of the C32Bs. So now, not only do we have great power, it's quiet, but we've got a very stable boat, a great fishing platform. So for the fishermen that'll be in this cockpit, it's a far more pleasant experience. And we are really looking forward to this upcoming fishing season and using her through the winter, just accruing more hours and making this product just as good as it can be. For all the things we have talked about on this boat, we haven't mentioned much about the complete facelift this boat has gotten. There are a lot of things that we don't have time to cover today. Hopefully, we'll get a chance to come back and do that another time. But as promised, we're gonna let this boat speak for itself. <laughs> 